good morning. Today we thought we'd make a little tape on what it takes to get a shot in the little movie that we're making, Medford Lakes Crack, which is the working title. Seasons of the Lakes is probably what it'll be called. But I'm gonna make a little movie today on what it takes to get one of the shots in that movie. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're over at George Weicker's house and they're going to pick this windmill piece today. Guys are getting ready and we're gonna to try to shoot that uh, a couple of different ways. And what it takes to get that shot to begin with is a couple of different things. First, we're gonna back shoot it. That is, we're gonna get a couple of shots in case the main shot doesn't work out because this only happens once. So we don't get another crack at this. We kind of learn this during building implosions. You get some backup shots and then the main thing doesn't work, you still have something that's hopefully usable. So uh, we're gonna take a shot or two of the pieces being transported, and then we're gonna get the drone up and try to get a shot of the actual pick. And this is a pretty major pick for Canoe Carnival, about as big as they get. So uh, for the next half hour or so, the guys are gonna be working, and then they're going to uh, transport the pieces. They're gonna get a big crane on uh, the dam, and we're gonna see uh, how well they, they perform this today. Yes. All right, George Weicker here. Hey, yeah, how are you? It's nonsense. Well, how confident are you today, George? Very confident, dude. This is going to be brilliant. Okay. Awesome. And fun. And fun. Oh, what's the plan right now? You're going to get this up on the Pick her trailer? up, turn it over on, put it in the trailer, and then we're going to rig it up and set it down the road. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. All right. Good luck, man. All right, you guys. So be honest. Now that we're away from all these guys, does this have any chance of working? I didn't think no, so. We don't know what we're doing. We saw it on YouTube. We think we're going to do okay with okay. it. Okay. But beyond that, we have no idea. Not going to have. Some more guys look like they're doing something. What are you doing, doing, sir? Supervising right now. Okay. I saw you actually <laughs> lifting something and I putting did. it in. <laughs> Everyone has a role to play. Get it? Get it? Uh, yes, we did. So. I'm gonna put it like I'll under. put it in there, just put it over there. I'm just, you don't need to put it in. We got a bunch of guys here. Now, what do you think of what's going on? It's fabulous. <laughs> some would say these are some of the greatest minds in the town. I'm not one of those people, but what would you say? I would say they're definitely, definitely the uh, greatest minds in town. <laughs> <laughs> so they're running all the pieces of the comically oversized windmill over to the dam now. And all of the blades are going over. Once the blades are there, they're going to move the main piece. So what we're going to do is try to shoot the main piece as it goes down Mohawk. We're going to use this 400 millimeter, 2.8. We got the, a big lens because it's early in the morning. It's pretty dark still, and we got to get as much light as we can. And we're going to get these guys kind of traveling through town with that piece. That's the goal with this shot. Everybody ready? One. Two, three. Rotate, rotate, do it. Rotate. You got clear. In action, you're in on the action right now. It's like you're really here. It is. We need both saw horses down. Yeah. Good. Easy Good. down. Easy down. Good job, guys. <laughs> so I don't know if you were paying close attention there, but let's go back and look at that lift in slow motion. And as you do, you can see that during the lift. It gets hung up on that other horse, the hitch does, and I pulled the horse out of the way, and I think I saved the project. I think now, ipso facto, I get to take credit for this project. Lee Miller, a remarkable number of chiefs out here today. A lot of them. <laughs> I'm an Indian. <laughs> Let me get on the other side. Your work is done for the day. <laughs> Look at this freaking crowd. <laughs> 
in case something happens, all these coffee drinkers are going to spring into action. <laughs> this is like the saddest Medford Lakes parade ever. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, now we're in town at Trading Post Way, right here next to PJ's, and we've switched out lenses because there's another shot I'd like to get. Again, as a backup, these guys changed the route a little bit. They're gonna be coming up Stokes to the north. Pretty cool shot coming up over the hill. So we switched out to a two to 400, 4.0, because we have a little more sunlight now. It's about 7.30, and we have the ability to uh, do some different things with a little more light. So here comes the next backup shot. What's up, bro? How's it going so far? Oh, it's going very well. Smooth and steady. <laughs> Halfway through the move. <laughs> Halfway through the move. Kind of. All is well. <laughs> uh, when you get up there, what's the plan? The plan is we're going to turn this thing on to the dam. Okay. Put the crane on the dam and then pick it up and put it on our, uh, our platform. Just lift it right onto the platform. Right up, yeah. All right. right yeah, man. Still, cool, huh? still confident? I am very confident. <laughs> it will work. That is a union job if ever I've seen yes, one right sir, there. Yes, sir. <laughs> proud 30, of it, proud of it. 35 bucks an hour, well spent. So now they're on a real road. This is the traffic director right yes, here. Sir, yes, sir. People are crazy today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of people got, for. I got straight. You know, I need a badge. <laughs> All right. One of the trickiest parts of the entire operation here as George tries his hairpin turn up onto the dam, kissing Beach One. A whole lot of chiefs now. I hear a lot of directions being shouted out. I think we're back down to one Indian. We're all right. We're all right. It's going to come this way. All right. Go, George. Go. Go. Oh, very nice. Keep it wide. Keep it wide. God, I'd swear they've done this before. I used to be in the rodeo. I know how to get out on a Good. Good. Oh, look at this. That's some artwork, man. All right. Good job, guys. Okay. Just stand up on here. Yeah. And then we'll uh, then do the pick over onto the, uh, the, the platform. Then we're going to move around a little bit to get some weight balanced out. Right. And then we're going to bolt it down. Okay. When do you put all the four pieces on? <laughs> That's right. Right now. Are okay, you putting the them on now? Oh, yeah. So they go on first. Okay. Here's the paparazzi. The wives are all uh, eagerly anticipating whether or not they're going to have to use their medical cards and their deductibles later today. Mr. Barnett, just curious, what's your insurance deductible? Very, very high. That's, do you find that to be problematic? Just like the windmill. <laughs> I don't I, I was amazed that everyone on the road didn't think this was as much fun as we did. No. All so, the other cars. Some were less than impressed. Yeah, why don't they think this is really awesome? Yeah, no, the shore can wait, motherfucker. What's the rush? Hey. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> Dude, that's a hell of a hammer you got there, my man. Yeah. Oh. 
So Bill has the making of, the making of, the making of we have any the video. Or How you doing, Bill? I'm doing good. Good, good, good. I just blew my mind. <laughs> you know it's a party when this guy shows up. <laughs> just in time, my friend. Sunday morning erection. So while we have a quick moment, let's put this in perspective. This is roughly a 2,000 pound structure that is yeah. over 60 feet tall. The four anchor sections are over 60 feet away from the top blade. And this entire structure is gonna go on two canoes it's no longer non-competitive that I can see. It's now a competitive float. And they're going to drop this onto that platform on the two normal Medford Lakes canoes. So the moment of truth is fast approaching. I don't get to say any more smart ass things that only I think are funny. It's time to switch to the drone and see if these guys can pull this off. Holy freaking Christ, that's tall. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a view from under there, man. And so, this ragtag band of dreamers and overachievers succeeded in creating a towering monument to human ingenuity. Serving as a physical testament to mankind's indomitable spirit. with their humble yet soaring offering to the new carnival gods. That would surely stand the test of time.
And then we drank beer. Wait, wait. We don't drink beer. That was the end of it. That's that's all the dramatic oh, music no. and video oh, that oh, I no, have. No, that was no, the end. no. It says beer right here. You, look, it says beer right there. No, you wrote that. The, the, oh, the no. video had to end there because I don't have anything oh, else no. to and put over And then we top. drank beer. Why wouldn't we drink beer? Well, we would. And we're we are. Ju we're just going to drink it anyway, I guess. Yeah, we're going to drink beer. All right. Cheers, you guys. Beer. That was a great job, Ollie. Is. Well, well done. Well done. See you soon, knuckleheads. <laughs>